Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be going over one of my favorite releases of the last few months. I know you guys have seen it out there. It's definitely gonna be one of the fan favorites for heavy oil, Eternity Pie. We're here at Spares. Um, I'm gonna be comparing it today with my good friend, Buddy Mountcastle. And I'm gonna be comparing it to my Tour Dynamics, two solid asymmetric bowling balls with the exact same layout. And we're gonna show you what makes them different, what makes them tick. Before we get into it, I did want to just show you guys this shirt right here. It says, I got this. Uh, this is not for me. Obviously, we noticed the color. We are supporting cancer this month, specifically breast cancer. Wanted to give a shout out to my friend, Bria Belt. Um, we all love you. We all support you. We wish you nothing but the best on the road to recovery. I know you see us out there, so this is how I'm going to get it out there for you, all right? We're all on your side. You got this. Team Bria. Nothing better, right? Let's go see what this ball can do. All right, out here on the lanes now. Eternity Pie, my go-to pin down layout. Four by four by three and three quarters. I'm gonna be lining up around 25 here on the fresh house shot at Spares. See what this ball does. So off a four pin, it's usually two and one left here. I'm gonna do my best to throw it the same. Let's see what we got. Oh, got it out. Okay, missed a little bit right on that one to the drier part of the lane. We saw it read the friction. Blend it off nicely. Didn't really jackknife left. Nice smooth controllable. I'm gonna open another one here. Try and get this one to go through the pins better. better. So, uh, first shot was a little bit in and four pins. That was in the more oily part of the lane. Second shot got a little bit further right, read the friction a little bit sooner. But as I said before I threw that shot, it kind of blended it a little bit. Now, it could be the layout. This is a pin down layout. It's not meant to really kind of move quickly off the back of the pattern when it sees friction. As for that shot, that was another one left and I got a little bit softer. And when you're throwing such a bigger ball, the front to back difference is going to be extreme because of how much sooner the ball can see it if you get too soft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand in, the, in that exact same spot and I'm going to try and pick the speed up a little bit or just be a tad more firm, see if we can get it to clear the fronts better. Let's try that again. So like I said, I'm just going to try and be a little bit more firm here. I'm just going to pick the ball up. See if we can get it to blend the back of the pattern out and not read too early. Much better. So obviously you can see with that layout, it being a solid ball, solids aren't really meant to kind of make that sharp turn on the back part of the lane. That's why I'm comparing to the Tour Dynamics today. You're gonna get two balls with similar shape, but overall hook potential in two different stratospheres. If you guys know me, Tour Dynamics is like my favorite ball out right now by a mile. I have a, an entire bag dedicated to them. So we're gonna be comparing it to that. I love that motion I just saw when the six pin gets off the wall and you're not going high flush, but it's still kicking the ten out like that. It's usually a really good sign. We're gonna let Buddy throw a few here so you guys get a different perspective. And then I'm gonna come back with the Tour Dynamics. We're gonna compare how that hook potential can somehow make two solid asymmetric balls both fit in your bag for two totally different time periods. Let's go, buddy. Hey there, bowlers. Back here with Mr. Scott Anderson, Mr. Uh, almost PBA champ. Came really close a couple times, balling really great over there at uh, last regional, but congratulations to Mr. Anderson. Just so you guys know, this man made the RPI for the Southern region. He's going to Vegas in January, so kudos to this man. Um, he, he bowled exceptionally well. I was with him every shot for shot. It was awesome to see. So, shout out to you, man. That was awesome. Well earned. Thank Today, you. I'm with him and I'm going to be demonstrating the Eternity Pie. And as you guys know, I'm much less revs than Scott, much less. Uh, but a cool thing is also, I'm going to be throwing a five and a half by five by three uh, Eternity Pie pinup. Here's my drilling. And I'm going to be building a little further right than where Scott is. And we're trying to see what this ball does. So, with that said, let me get started. I'm gonna stand at about 23, 24 with my feet. I'm looking at about 12. And I'm gonna try and get this to about seven down lane. That 
that's pretty much where I wanted to start and you know it's rare that I actually start a video with strikes so let's see if we can keep going. All right so that was a good start for me. Um, I'm gonna migrate just a couple left then about 25 26 with my feet. I'm gonna look about 13 14 with the arrows. I'm really liking this ball more and more the, the more I throw it. When I first threw it I wasn't a big fan simply because the cover stock didn't match up but now that I've got some lane sign on it Ball's really rolling well for me and going through the pins well. All right, I'm gonna jump about five left now. I'm gonna stand about uh, 30, and I'm gonna throw it over third arrow to the right, and just kind of see what it does. Woo! Scott does it better though. Well, that was luck, so we're gonna try that again at 35 this time, and I'm gonna throw it over, I don't know, 1920. Maybe miss left. So I got I got the 35 with my feet, and I threw it right, but I just don't have the hand to get it back from that position. I might have thrown it slower, made shape, but it's risky from that standpoint for me because I, I go through the nose. I'm leaving myself a big, you know, big four or something. But with Scott, he'll show you. He'll probably move left with this ball, and it'll look great. So I'm gonna hand it back over to him. All right, next four shots with my current favorite ball. Um, I have 599 for two twice with this ball uh, for my first two games. Uh, this ball's insane. I'm just going to kind of show you in comparison. The shape is going to be overall the same, it's just the overall hook potential. Should be about a four or five board difference, so I'm going to move forward just to be safe. We're going to try it out right now and uh, we'll see if we find anything out. So I'm moving four here. All right, so that was like three and a half. I cheated because I thought buddy shots might have dried them up a little bit. Um, I think one more would be perfect. We don't like flat tens. I know it's ugly. But I'm a really big fan of bowling balls that just give you room and area when you keep the ball in play. So let's try it again, see if we can carry. Let's kind of square up a little bit. All right. So that ball saw it. I liked how smooth it was. So we're just going to square up a little bit here and see what we can do. Apologize to the ball now. I don't want to make it look like that. We're gonna square up another one. This this is gonna make it an exact five, kind of like I said. It's about a four or five difference. We can see that it's still the same, the exact same layout, same idea of a shape. It's not something that's gonna, you know, take a hard turn left off of the back of the pattern. Two solid bowling balls that are gonna kind of dig through the front of the lane and give you a nice even reaction down there. Let's try that one more time. If it's a messenger, please hit it. Alright. For one more right, Let's see if I can do this ball some justice. That was a little bit better. I think I got one more in me that's going to look just like that. Let's try it again. All right, same spot as last shot. Try and stay behind a little bit better. So this is actually perfect. This is kind of about where I wanted to be in terms of a comparison. Just to show you both how, just to show you how smooth both of these are. Um, we don't really like flat tens. The messengers, we like them to hit. It looks nice, right? So maybe something like this right now, I wouldn't be throwing this. This is like the perfect comparison, right? Maybe I'd be starting with a bigger ball like the Eternity. And when they start to dry up, maybe something with a pen up, maybe I can go to this, you know, give me the same shape just when the lanes dry up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the Eternity for one shot here. I'm going to kind of show you the difference in just, you know, what a stronger ball means. When we say something stronger, you know, we can look at two bowling balls, solid, asim, same layout, 
but two totally different reactions. So let's go back to this Eternity Pi. I'm going to move back to where I was and just have a look at how the overall strength of the ball is going to have such an impact on what happens out on the lane. All right, so five left. Eternity Pi. So we got a bigger engine out here with us now. Let's see if we can get this one to go through the pins a little bit better. Okay, I'm going to give you guys one bonus shot here because I did forget. Buddy mentioned how I'll Somebody with more hand might be able to get a little further left. So I'm going to move six left here. We saw Buddy flat 10 from around this area. Let's see what I can do. So you heard me say it while I was standing up there. Buddy had mentioned how getting further left, the ball might have run out of energy. Somebody with a higher rev rate might have been able to kind of get that flat 10 out. Now where you saw him flat 10, he might start to look for something a little bit different. He just bowled an event this weekend where he said when the lane started to dry up a little bit, he was able to go to a blackout, which we have in a video coming soon. You might be able to do the same thing. Something Pearl's gonna get through the heads cleaner, store up a little more energy and kick those corners out. Whereas somebody with a higher rev rate might be afforded a little bit larger of a window to throw these bowling balls, just because of the amount of power they're getting at the pin deck, all right? So I'm gonna bring Buddy out here in just a minute. We're gonna wrap things up and tell you what we saw. All right, guys. So just to wrap things up, I wanted to touch on two things. Obviously, first, the difference between the two balls that I was throwing because they had the same layout. And second, even though we have differing styles, our bowling balls are laid out different as well. So just curious what Buddy might see with bowling balls with that layout in his bag versus what the Eternity Pie does. And I'm just gonna kind of let you know what I see between the two different bowling balls and why one might be good for you or you know, one might not be good for you. So the goal here is to kind of figure out why you want one, right? Why you need one. So let's hear from Buddy first. What do you think about it? So one, it's, it's nice to have a big solid uh, ASIM than the uh, 900 Global Line uh, next to the reality. Uh, you know, comparing to the reality, the reality was nice and smooth, good shape and everything. This is much stronger. Uh, it digs into the oil a lot sooner, reads up really well. And with my taller pin uh, being a five and a half uh, inch pin, I'm getting a lot more flair down lane than uh, say some of my other bowling balls that are pinned down or, or short pins. I was gonna tell you one of the things I noticed, I have a few really strong bowling balls with this layout. Magic Gem is gonna be at a future video that I've been throwing, my original gem. Um, just a lot of my DNA. I have a lot of bigger bowling balls with this type of layout on it. And this one doesn't react like a solid at all. No, it, it doesn't. Do, it does save up a lot more energy and a lot more kick down lane for a solid, right. even with a larger pin buffer for me. Yeah. So for you, with the pin up layout, I can only imagine how much stronger that is than a reality down lane. Well, being an older guy, you know, not as much hand, um, I'm, I'm taking advantage of the equipment's uh, capabilities and the technology that's in these equipment these days. And by giving myself that flare, uh, it's allowing the ball to make, you know, make the turn a little sooner, a little stronger for me, and kind of get through those pins. Um, it's really good on heavy oil, really is. Uh, it likes oil, it needs the oil. Anything without oil, and it's just... Uh, I saw, trust me, I saw it here. We're bowling on a, on a fresh house shot. That one shot that I got a little bit softer on, that big Ford. Yeah. I actually wasn't quite prepared for that to happen, so I'm kind of glad we were able to see just how the strength of the ball overcame the lane like that. And it just, it said, okay, you're gonna throw me slower. Well, listen, there's no oil here, so as soon as I'm ready to go, I'm going. As soon as I see that friction, goodbye. I'm going, right. Um, as for me, comparing it with the Tour Dynamics, I don't wanna really reiterate anything that I've already said. You guys know it's like my favorite ball, I don't wanna get into that. Um, all I really wanna do is make sure that we did see that shape very strong, continuous motion with this layout. I will say it again, it's gonna be in the description for this video, four by four, uh, that's pin to your pat, mass bias to your pat, and then the last number for the storm system is your pin buffer, which is pin to your VAL. The larger that number, the more even a reaction you're gonna get. So I have a three and three quarter inch pin buffer, which puts the ball directly under my bridge. It might be different for somebody else, even though I tell you it's right under my bridge, your pin buffer for three and three quarter might be a little bit higher. So check out your local pro shop, make sure they're finding your pat for layouts. Um, overall, listen, I love both of them. I threw the Eternity Pie on my Wednesday night league over at Sawgrass with the hype, Charles Hutchison. And the first two weeks that I bowled that league, I was 248 with it. The week after that, lanes were a little bit different. I was able to throw my Tour Dynamics. 
Uh, they were a little bit wonky. Average dropped like 242. Average like 230 with it. Uh, wah, wah, wah. And then um, <laughs> last week shot over a thousand for four with the Magic Gem. So you, you, you're, you're going to see that. It's a great league. Go check out Charles's channel. Again, the hype. I'm sure you guys know who he is. You see me on his channel quite a bit. Uh, he does league recaps. You'll see me ball in league out there with all the new equipment. So if you want to see it in action and not just these videos that took us, what is this, like three hours now with all those cuts? <laughs> no. Stop. No. Stop. Um, no. We, uh, I try to be as honest as humanly possible so you guys see the good with the bad mostly. Um, besides that, thank you The again. good, the bad. Appreciate you being out here. Um, I forgot to touch on the regional. I'll do that on the next video, so stay tuned for the blackout video. I'll give you guys some more information on the RPI coming up. Thank you again. Mr. It was, RPI. Uh, it's a dream come true. So if you guys don't follow or subscribe, follow, subscribe, and I'll be giving you guys updates on uh, how Vegas is going to look in January. Let's do it, right? Keep striking. Storm Nation, baby.